Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art and let's draw Drift's pickaxe, the Riff Edge. So let's get started with a quick sketch and then I will show you line by line on how you can draw this. Alright, so let's draw this and this one's got a lot of little strange angles but it's actually not that bad to draw. But let's just take it one step at a time. So we're just going to start out with the middle and just draw in like a little angle like this. Okay, so this one is slightly longer. So after that, then I'm just gonna come down. Okay, so come down straight. And then now we got drawing these uh, weird angles over here. So for here, we can draw in like a shorter angle right here. So just come across. And then we're just gonna come down. And then on this bottom here, so we just close that off. So this is gonna be the, the handle coming down straight. Okay, and then up, we're going back up here to some more rear angle. So we're just going to go out. It's going to come down and then just close it off. So if yours is not exactly like this, it's okay. It's just, it's just the angles are very strange. So even if you're off by a little bit, it's okay. So we're just adding some details. I'm just going to add in a couple of these holes over there. And then it's going to be one line across. Okay, so after this, then actually everything else is a little bit easier. Um, so we got to, we're just gonna continue with this area right here. So on this part here, just kind of slant out, same slant as this. And then this one's gonna come down. And as you come down here, just kind of curve it out slightly. And then we'll just close that off. And then in here, we're just adding some details. So I'm gonna draw in four lines. Straight across. All right, so let's continue up. And again, this angle right here, I'm just gonna continue it right here. Okay, and then this one is gonna come straight across to right about here. And then I'm just gonna come down and just close it off. So for the blade, we're gonna start out here. This is almost horizontal, just kind of slightly up. And once you have this, come down here, start here, and then just kind of draw a slight curve coming in. So it's gonna taper in right here. Okay, and then once you have those two lines on the top here, this one's gonna curve. And then on the bottom here, this one's gonna curve down come right about here so this this thing curves down quite a bit all right and then after that then this one's easier so we're just gonna curve it just try to draw a nice curve and just connect that and make that really sharp on the edge on the tip there all right and then for some detail we're just gonna draw in one line so this one's a little bit easier we're just gonna right in the middle we're just gonna draw one curve all the way to the tip. All right, and then let's see. Let's go on to the other side. So the other side is a little bit easier. So we just kind of draw a curve going up. Just kind of come back down. So the hardest part is just probably getting the right proportions. Okay, and then once you have that, we're going to come back here. So we're going to start on the tip. curve it all the way back to the handle and then after that we're gonna draw in the center line again so uh, this time I'll start on the tip here just kind of go all the way back in okay so that's the top and yeah it's very cool looking but definitely a lot of strange angles that makes it a little bit more difficult to draw all right so then for the handle um, it's gonna be pretty long so I'm, I'm not gonna make it as long because that's with these axes, I always run out of paper space. So we're just gonna extend this line here. Okay, so just come all the way down, just kind of close it off. So yours can be a little bit longer if you have space for it. <laughs> okay. And then here on the tip here, we're gonna draw, this is gonna continue on and this one's kind of flare out slightly. And just turn it back in and just close it. And then we add a little bit of detail here. OK, 
Okay, and then let's see on the middle part here, there's gonna be a lot of those uh, these little wrappings here. Um, I guess there's really no quick way of doing it. We're just gonna draw in, so let's draw like a diamond shape. Okay, and then just kind of keep going. Keep going all the way down. And I'll shade it in, it's gonna be all black. Almost there. And then after all those shapes in the corner here, um, you can add in like a little line like this to help to make it look like wrapping. So right in the corner, just kind of drawing two lines going all the way out. This kind of looks like a samurai sword. All right, so that's the handle. And then for the chain, uh, I'm just gonna have it go straight down. So if you want to draw it with, um, with an angle, you can just tilt your paper and then draw the chain that way. That's kind of cool too. I'm just gonna draw it straight down. So for the chain links, it's actually really easy. Um, just draw in, so there's one link from the side here. And then I'm gonna draw in another one. Just give it a little bit of space. So once you have these spacing here, then we're gonna start on the inside here. Just kind of connect that. And then we're gonna go out, draw the outside of it. Okay, so that's one link. So we go on the inside here, just kind of connect that with a little bit of an angle. And then we just gotta come out. Just give it some thickness. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw one more down here. So connect on the inside, just a little bit of angle. And then outside. And that is it for this Rift Edge pickaxe in Fortnite. Hope you guys liked the way it turned out. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next time.